The Ryder Cup golfer Ian Poulter has been telling Lokis that families hold the key for the future of the game. Since the economic downturn, the number of people playing the game has been falling, but numbers are picking up again, with clubs in this region making a big effort to attract juniors and women. Tom Williams as is at Stoke by Nayland Golf Course in Suffolk. Tom. Stuart, thank you. Yes, it shouldn't be difficult to attract new golfers to play on nights like this. Gorgeous, isn't it? And over the past few hours, I've watched countless women and children honing their skills on the putting green and up on the range because these groups are so vital to boosting participation. <laughs> Tea time at the golf course. It's come a fair way from the stuffy image of the past. Clubs now are making golf fun for all the family. Nights like this is great to see the family interacting with everyone. We've got granddads here, you know, dads here. Some mums have made it out as well, which is always a bonus as well. So yeah, it gets the whole club in a positive atmosphere. Perfect. Obviously, I like playing, and uh, if she can do something with me, that's great. Good exercise when you're walking up all the hills. Just like getting out there and playing golf. How are you getting on? Good. I, I got it in the elephant once, so. And for one of Europe's Ryder Cup greats, golf should focus on family. A massive part of me uh, playing golf was down to my dad uh, and my family, playing with my brother. Uh, so anything we can do and um, anything golf clubs can do to get kids out on the golf course playing, I think is fantastic. It should be a family game. Uh, it should be something we can enjoy with everybody uh, from all ages. One of the big things that they have that golf has, has failed to, to harness is the fact that it can be the ultimate family sport. You know, I can play golf with my father who's in his 80s, my wife and my teenage son. We can have a four ball and we can have really quality family time and have a proper game. And there is no other sport where that's possible. For over a decade, participation has been in decline. The number of people playing golf once a month down a third to just over a million. Club membership has also fallen by nearly a quarter to under half a million. But things are looking up. Numbers have stabilised. And now 20,000 more golfers are playing each month. Membership has risen too by 65,000 in three years. Just 14% of all golfers are female, so for May's National Golf Month, there was a real drive to inspire women to play. Golf Sixes was also launched to reach out to a new audience. As pros, we can just keep trying to promote the game of golf, thinking of new concepts. Obviously, the Six Series that was, that was on a couple of weeks ago was great fun. We need to try and keep plugging away, finding ways to get more people attracted to the great game of golf that, that it is we play. Golf's not out of the rough yet, but it's on the right lines. Yeah, gone are the days that dad will just pop off to the club for five or six hours. The ever-increasing demands of work and family life means clubs must relax their rules and take a more flexible approach to membership and competition because these guys are the future. Tom, thank you very much.